Hey guys, today we're looking at another Dell uh, server that's got ESXi on it, the free version of course. Great virtualization software, so we're gonna go ahead and do an update. Right now it's running version 6.5, and now 8.0 is the latest version, so we're gonna go ahead and do that upgrade right now. Today we're looking at a Dell R720 today. We have a thumb drive that's already got the latest version of ESXi 8.0 on it. I use Rufus, but there's tons of software out there that you can burn an ISO to a thumb drive and make it bootable, so we got that plugged in here. We went ahead and powered the server on. And then now we are at the point where we hit F11 to get to the boot manager menu. So we want to boot into the BIOS boot manager. So we're gonna go ahead and enter and then we should get some options here. So let's let this uh, load up here. Okay, once you get to this part for the boot manager, you wanna go down to the hard drive and then you're gonna have two options. So we're gonna, we don't wanna boot from our RAID controller car with our RAID drives. We wanna boot from the front USB flash drive. So go ahead and select that option, hit enter. There's our ESXi 8.0 version. Go ahead and hit enter and we'll wait for this to load up here. This is gonna take a couple of minutes here for this to load up and then I'll go ahead and pause it. Once this gets done loading, then we're going to uh, do the upgrade. All right, now we are at the welcome to the ASXi 8.0 installation. Don't worry, it's gonna be installing it and upgrading from the 6.5 to 8. So we're gonna go ahead and hit enter. We're gonna accept the terms of service and then it's gonna be scanning for what version we have currently installed and the data rays and everything like that. So like I said, we'll give this a couple of minutes here, wait for that to load up and there we go. So here's all the disks that I found on, on on this particular server. So you can see we have two arrays set up. One that's a 10, uh, RAID 10, and then one's a RAID 5. And we actually don't know which array has the ESXi installation on it. So the easy way to do this is select that array, hit F1, which is gonna give you more details about that array data store. And you can see ESXi found, no. So you can tell that this is not where the installation's at. So let's go to the one terabyte array, hit F1. There we go, ESXi found, ESXi 6.5, perfect. So that's the one we wanna choose. So good then, hit enter and basically this is now you're at the point where it's going to install your ESXi, preserve the VMFS data store which is what you want because if you overwrite it you're going to lose all your VMs so don't do that so select that first one and hit enter and then your country default and this is where we're going to type in our root password all right we got our password in so we hit next now it is letting us know the CPU is not supported by 8.0 but you can still continue but just so you know it's not officially supported I've seen this come up a lot I've never had issues not saying you won't have issues, but let's go ahead and just upgrade. And again, it's asking us, are you sure? Because it's unsupported. We're going to go ahead and process through because it's just the CPU, so we should be okay. And let's go ahead and hit F11 now. And there you have it. Now the installation is running. Uh, this should be pretty quick. You can see it's already at 28, 30% almost. Um, so like I said, let's go ahead and give it some time. I'll pause it when it comes back up and then we'll log back into it just to make sure we can get back in. Keep in mind, as I was doing this upgrade, if you have an ESXi server and you're trying to log into it and you don't know what the password is, you can actually just run a ESXi installer and overwrite the installation. Now, granted, it's gonna change some of your configs, but it, it, you can reset the password that way and then you can get into that ESXi and then you can get to the VMs and things like that. Um, but it does change your network configuration and things like that and your time zone and all that stuff. But at least you'll be able to get into the server and get into your VMs and get to your data. So just have that in mind if you ever need to get into a ESXi server and you don't know the login to. You can do that to reset it. All right, once you get to this point, the installation is not complete. We can go ahead and hit enter and it's gonna reboot the server. Now you notice the CD drive of this server pops up because you know usually people install with the CD, but I mean, that's old school now. I just do everything on a thumb drive. But we're gonna go ahead and remove that installation thumb drive off there so it doesn't try to boot to that. So let's go ahead and wait for this to now reboot and then load up ESXi and then we should be good to go, you guys. All right, you can see the ESXi success Successfully booted. It gives a DHCP address because, like I said, during the upgrade, it kind of resets the network configuration, things like that. But that's no problem. We can reset that up. So now let's go to the computer, make sure we can log in, and we'll be on our way. All right, you guys, we are in our ESXi. We got successfully logged in. Now you're probably freaking out at the moment because you go to virtual machines and there's like zero, and you're like, I had like 15 VMs on here. Where are they? Don't worry. Just go to your storage, go to where your actual storage is for your, your VMs and then you just hit register a VM. You can click on your server, click on the VMX file, and then go down to the bottom right and hit register, and I'll remap that virtual machine, and now you can go in and successfully boot it. There you have it. That's how you can upgrade ESXi from 6.5 to 8.0, but really you can do this from any version if you got 6.7 or 7.0. It's really the same process, it's very easy. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the next one.